Hi guys, Brian Skirrell, I am back with another video and today I am going to be going through my predictions for the upcoming Wrestlemania. Also, I will be doing my wager like I did in last video. Now in the last wager, I put up a £10 Amazon gift card for getting half wrong, but this is Wrestlemania. This is the granddaddy of them all, the biggest event in wrestling throughout the year. Well, it means I've got to do a bigger wager. So this time I will be doing three different wagers in this one. Don't say I don't treat you. To find out what the wagers are, just keep watching and at the end of the video, I'll explain just how you can enter. So yeah, let's get straight into it with the first match. So first one we're gonna actually talk about is the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial. Now in this match, there's a lot of superstars who have entered uh, and I'm guessing we're gonna see some who haven't actually announced their entrance but are gonna be participating in it. Some names like Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, Tyler Breeze, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. They're, they're just some of the names who have uh, said that they're going to be entering into But my pick for this match is going to be Matt Hardy. I just love Matt Hardy. Broken Matt, Walker Matt, whatever you want to call him. He's just amazing. Next match I want to talk about is going to be the Women's Battle Memorial. Or again, some women who have already entered into it. Uh, some women who will join in that haven't actually said that they're going to be in this match. Uh, you've got like Natalia, Sasha Banks... Bailey, Liv Morgan, Sonya Deville, you know, a lot. And hopefully we'll get to see some of the NXT women come into it like they did in the Rumble. Like Ember Moon, Kyrie Sane, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, who knows. My pick for this one is going to be Becky Lynch. I just want to see a big win for Becky Lynch. They've not, they've not had one in quite some time. So a big win for Becky Lynch would be brilliant. She is one of the best women on the roster. Next, we've got the Cruiserweight Championship match. Cedric Alexander against Mustafa Ali. But I've, I've already stated in the past how amazing I think Cedric, Cedric Alexander is. Uh, Mustafa Ali, also amazing in the ring. But I'm going to have to go with Cedric Alexander on this one. He is the best person in 205 Live, in my opinion anyway. Next, let's talk about Ronda Rousey. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Yeah, uh, so we've got Ronda Rousey teaming up with Kurt Angle against The Authority, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. I think we all know how this is going to turn out. This is Ronda Rousey's first ever match in WWE. So they're going to put her over. They're going to have Ronda Rousey win this. Uh, hopefully they'll have something big in the future. Well, you know for a fact they're going to have something big in the future and I just can't wait to see how they play it out. But yeah, for her, her first ever match, the winner of this is going to be Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle. Next, we'll go into a match with a big stipulation in it. We've got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn against Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Daniel Bryan returning. This is brilliant. We knew that he was going to be wrestling again at some point because he stated that he was either going to let his contract run out with WWE and go and wrestle for another company because he had been cleared by other doctors, just not the one at WWE, or WWE had to actually let him fight again. Thank fuck they actually let him fight. Honestly, just thank God. It's Daniel Bryan in the ring again. Sorry, excitement. You just can't hold it in when it's something this big. There's a couple of factors you've got to think here. This is Daniel Bryan's first match back. So you'd think, oh, they've got to have the win here. But the stipulation is that if Kevin and Sammy lose, they will remain fired from SmackDown Live. But there is something you could do with that, and that's bring them into Raw again. It's weighing it up which one works out better. Everyone wants to see Daniel Bryan winning his comeback match. But they don't want to see like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn fired because it's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They, they do sell tickets because they are both amazing athletes. I think I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon for this one and see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn actually go back to Raw. Time for the first part of my wager. This match, I have told you who I think is going to win the outcome of this. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. If I am wrong with this, I will be giving away a one month subscription to Xbox Gold Live. Details on how you can get that, like I say, at the end of this video. Next match we'll talk about is The Bar, Sheamus and Cesaro, 
against Braun Strowman and a mystery tag team partner. First, let's talk about the whole surrounding factors in this. Braun Strowman coming into a match that he wasn't actually put into. Mm, it, it, it has lo lots of questions. Uh, it leaves us all thinking, well, how can he win a match that he wasn't even sh sanctioned to be in? Uh, for his partner, I, 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 don't, I just think it's going to be Elias. Elias has been saying, yeah, I'm going to steal the show at WrestleMania and that. And I think it's supposed to lead you to believe that he's going to be in uh, Memorial Battle Royal. But he hasn't actually said what he was going to be doing at WrestleMania. So, I, I think he's going to be the tag team partner of Braun Strowman. As for the winner of this, um, I think we know it's going to be Braun Strowman and whoever he picks. Next, we'll go with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. This is the Usos versus the New Day versus the Bludgeon Brothers. The Bludgeon Brothers. Oh, the Bludgeon Brothers are going to be at WrestleMania. Can you think of anything worse? But this whole gimmick and everything, I hate it. I just absolutely cannot stand it. If, if they walk away with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, a little part of the wrestling lover in me might just die. But the Usos, we get to see them at WrestleMania, yes. The New Day, WrestleMania, yes. These two clashing together is brilliant every time it's on. As for the winner of this, I think the Usos are going to retain on to the Intercontinental Championship match. We've got Seth Rollins, Finn Balor and The Miz. There's been some good build up on this. I mean, the last match with Finn Balor against Seth Rollins on Raw, that was an amazing match. Like 100%, I loved every moment of that match. We have got three amazing talents on this. The Miz, he's not the man he was when he first came into WWE. Finn Balor, look at everywhere he's wrestled. He's, he, the guy is immense. Same with Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, he's outstanding whenever you see him wrestle. This one's another one that's hard to choose from. I'm going to give this one to Seth Rollins. If, if Seth Rollins wins this, he becomes a Grand Slam champion. So next, uh, let's move on to the United States Championship match. This is Randy Orton, Jinder Mahal, Bobby Roode and Rusev in a four-way fatal. Looking at this, like, Jinder Mahal, I'm not really that into Jinder Mahal. To be honest, like, the beginning of his career and, like, a little while into WWE, I thought he was crap. Like, I, I just thought he couldn't wrestle nothing. Uh, but nowadays, he is get, he is actually better in the ring. Like, I actually don't mind watching him now. Randy Orton is kind of the opposite of that. I always thought Randy Orton was brilliant. Used to get excited to watch his matches. And I actually loved watching his matches. When he hit an RKO out of nowhere, it was like the best thing in the world. But nowadays, he's just stale, repetitive, and I don't really enjoy watching him that much. He's too predictable. Bobby Roode, absolutely love the guy. I loved him back in TNA. Um, the guy's just amazing. Rusev, I've said this in a previous video that uh, they weren't really doing enough with Rusev. Putting him into this title picture is finally doing something that actually works really well with, with, with Rusev. And I'm picking Rusev for this. I want Rusev to win. Please just let him win. Now we'll go on to the Raw Women's Championship. Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. Alexa Bliss is still my favourite. She's my favourite female superstar. Truth is... I think Nia Jax is going to win this one because the lead up to it has been that Alexa's a bully. I don't think they're going to have the bully actually win this. So Nia Jax is going to walk away with a victory. But this is like a little extra bit, so this doesn't count into my wager. <laughs> Each week we've seen Carmella run down to the ring to try to uh, get the pin on Charlotte. She hasn't been successful. But I don't remember them saying anywhere that she has to go for the SmackDown Women's title. So, I kind of think Carmella run out after the Alexa Bliss Nia Jax match and cash in for the Raw Women's Championship. Next, on to the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is a massive match and it's Charlotte Fleur against Asuka. Charlotte Fleur, one of the best wrestlers in the world. Asuka, again, one of the best wrestlers in the world and she, she has her streak at the minute. These two going at it, regardless of who comes out on top, I just think it's going to be a massive clash. Going into it, I think I don't think they're going to have Asuka lose 
her streak at WrestleMania. I, I don't think she's got long left with it. I think they're going to have it end soon enough, but not at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania, I think Asuka is walking out with a victory on this one. But on to the Universal Championship match. This is Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns. Please, or oh please, do not make this the last match of the night. Because the main event, I don't care if you go, oh, it... The main event, you've got the Raw main event and you've got the SmackDown main event. No, the main event of any pay-per-view is the final match of the night. And that should go to the Royal Rumble winner. Not like, oh, we want Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. No. Put the Royal Rumble winner at the actual main event of WrestleMania. Just that angers me. They, they did it last year. They didn't have... The main event as the main event and it pissed me off because actually read about the Royal Rumble the winner of the Royal Rumble headlines main events Wrestlemania for the championship you don't put the Royal Rumble winner on before the final match but yeah let's get let's actually get back to the match it's Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns and I do feel like this is going to be a great a great match Roman Reigns maybe you don't like him on the mic or whatever but the fact of the matter is in ring he is actually brilliant it is he's impactful uh it can work a match really well to see these two basically behemoths go at it like, Roman Reigns, look at the size of the motherfucker. He's like, Arr. And then you've got Brock Lesnar, who is literally, Arr. These two going at it, it's going to be a really good match. Brock Lesnar is not walking out with a championship. Brock Lesnar's uh, leaving to go back to UFC. So he's not going to be walking away with the championship. So we all know that Roman Reigns is going to do it. The WWE Championship match. Now, I know we've had loads of matches already so far, but... This one is the big one. This is the dream match. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh my god, this match is going to be the best match we have seen in so long. Make it a long match. Unfortunately, it does mean you need to like shorten other matches. But if you can make this one go on for as long as possible, brilliant. Because these two will put on one hell of a show. I'm telling you, five stars... Five star match. These two are two of the best wrestlers in the world. I don't think there'll be a match like this throughout WWE. I don't think they're going to see another match like this. I mean, don't get me wrong. You've got amazing talents. You've got uh, from NXT, you've got Alistair Black. You've got um, Johnny Gargano. Raw, you've got Finn Balor. You've got Seth Rollins. SmackDown, you've got other great talents like Bobby Roode, Kevin Owens. I'm not trying to diminish any other superstars. But these two know how to put on an amazing match. Working together, putting on this big, massive show. This is going to be a five-star match. Um, walking out of this one... Again, this is a hard pick. I think this is the hardest pick for me to go with. I want to see AJ Styles walk out with the championship. But my head is telling me Shinsuke Nakamura is going to walk away with this one. I'm going to go with Shinsuke. So this calls for number two of the wager. If I get the uh, winner of this match wrong, I picked Shinsuke Nakamura then I will be giving away a month subscription to PlayStation Plus. Again, end of the video to find out how to enter. Now on to a match that we're not too sure of right now. They've been building it up and if they pull it away from us then it's kind of ridiculous. But it's John Cena versus The Undertaker finally happening. They've been building this up for, what, a month now? Or just over a month? They've been having it so that the under uh, John Cena's trying to call out The Undertaker, but The Undertaker's not responding and things like that. We really thought, like, Monday Night Raw, just gone, that we would see The Undertaker have his response, come out like... Uh, I accept and then drop Cena somewhere. We haven't actually seen him. 
But yeah, I'm still going to put this in as a prediction. It will still affect the wager. Well, I've got to include this match. It's been built up, but the chances are it's going to go ahead. Now, the thing is, before it, there's 13 matches, which makes it uneven, so it does give a clear win or a loss for my wager. So this match may even put it onto an even standard. Like, I get half right and half wrong. But the thing is, if I get half right and half wrong, it still means I lose my wager. That's the way I'm having it. For this match, I'm going to take The Undertaker because he's now had two losses at WrestleMania. We can't really make it a third. I know John Cena has been going into WrestleMania having all of these losses and wanting to have his redemption and that. But, no, I, 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 I can't see another loss for The Undertaker at WrestleMania. I definitely cannot see a third. But we could see something like a John Cena heel turn. Um, I mean, you may say it's not possible, but a lot of people thought John Cena versus The Undertaker wasn't possible because it had just been put off for so long and it was just a case of, well, if they're putting it off for this long, then it isn't going to happen. And who knows, maybe it won't happen. But I think they've built it up too much to say that it's not going to happen. So yeah, have a John Cena heel turn, have him snap. And then after losing to The Undertaker, he's like, I've lost too many matches. And then he just goes mental, starts attacking everyone, starts losing his mind. Yeah, have John Cena go heel. I mean, fucking hell. We've waited forever for it. Just do it. So time for the third and final part of the wager. Yeah, if I, if I get half or more wrong... I will give away a £10 Amazon gift card. The way this is all going to work is I'll put every, everyone's name into a wheel and each person will be picked and I'll correspond the winner with one of those three different cards. Say you get picked for the Xbox or PlayStation uh, gift cards and you don't actually have a PlayStation or an Xbox, I won't be buying them straight away anyway, so you can talk to me and we can work out getting you something else rather than something that you can't use. I'm not mean. I'm not going to give you something that you can't use. The way to enter this, go to my Twitter and tweet at me, granddaddy of them all, hashtag lion. There you go. Nice and simple, just tweet that at me and you will be entered into the giveaway. And what I'll do from after that is I'll actually get hold of the person who's won and we'll go from there. Let's just hope for a great WrestleMania. With the lineup, the way it's looking, it looks like it's going to be a brilliant show. It may be one of the best WrestleManias we've seen. That's only if they work it all properly though. We just have to wait and see that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below what you think is going to be the best match or who you really want to walk out as the biggest winner of this. Like, may, it may be the greatest match, uh, the greatest winner of a match, anything. Just let me know down below. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.